Michael Knowles, one of the least talented people at the Daily Wire, but um, who's trying to find some relevance because, you know, Ben Shapiro, he he had his time, I would say. I think right now the base is a little bit more clamoring for the straight up pure fascism and Christian fundamentalism of someone like Matt Walsh. But Shapiro, he'll come back in the fold and, and he's like the, also one of the... Uh, top executives or people at the Daily Wire, so he'll be okay. Um, But Michael Knowles is in that kind of weird gray area where I'm not sure what his audience is. So he's tacking even more to the Matt Walsh side of things. Speaking here about an announcement by the LA School District that they will have a week-long celebration of coming out day. And, uh, you know, this ought to be measured and not hysterical whatsoever. Speaking of kids, turning now to Los Angeles, L.A. Unified School District is about to host a week-long celebration of coming out day. You might think from the name that they would have a day-long celebration. At most, no, it's a week now. Soon it will be a month. It already is a month because they have the month of June, which is Pride Month, and then they have October, which we're in right now. That's LGBT History Month. So they've already got one-sixth of the calendar year. Probably they're going to add another month, and then they'll have a quarter of the year, and eventually they'll have the whole year long. LAUSD has said uh, that they'll have this week-long coming-out celebration. According to City Journal, a teacher within the district shared a document called the Week of Action Toolkit, Elementary which outlines how LAUSD would treat the month of October as another LGBTQ month. Not Week of Action Toolkit High School, not Week of Action Toolkit Middle School, Week of Action Toolkit Elementary School. These teachers should be arrested. Any elementary school teacher that foists this LGBT propaganda on little kids should be arrested for exposing minors to obscene content, for public indecency, for appeals to the prurient interest, for any, any obscenity law you can throw at them, they should be arrested for this. It's not going to happen in California because everybody from the lowest level city councilman all the way up to Governor Patrick Bateman over there are on board with this. They want to expose kids to disordered sexual content. But if by some fluke you can get any Republican into any position of power there, and certainly if this kind of thing happens elsewhere in the country, which it will, Republicans need to wield the law to arrest these people. This is sick, sick stuff. He insists. Um, This hysterical, like this sort of stuff, um, nobody actually thinks that kids are being served pornography in the libraries, Um, uh, that the books are inappropriate, whether they're like memoirs that have like um, uh, sexual awakening stories of gay kids. Guess what? Like that's something that uh, young gay people have the right to uh, have access to it through a library. Um, It's it's just hysterical. uh, And the only people who are concerned about that are like, um, bigoted evangelical people who basically want to impose the understanding that being gay is bad. Yeah, it is. Um, qu- it, it's silly if it weren't working in tandem with a multi-year-long Republican project to attack trans people, and now uh, opening up the the uh, I, I guess the your toolbox and going after gay people once again. I mean, that never went away, but there was, I guess, some sort of retraction when poll numbers shifted overwhelmingly to support of LGBTQ rights and gay marriage more uh, broadly. And then there was Obergefell, which legalized same-sex marriage throughout the land. And the right had to, uh, had to, to buckle down and come up with new ways to demonize certain people from a fundamentalist Christian perspective. And uh, this is what they've decided they're going to do. And, and, you know, what works well for them in, the, in this way is that they can't stand public education. They can't stand it. And that's why there has been a multi-decade long demonization project of uh, teachers unions as well. And so then they get the twofer here. They can undercut notions of public education by making public schools sound like scary indoctrination for homosexuality, for all the parents clutching their pearls at home. Um, And then they can uh, uh, 
go out well so yeah they i forget exactly what i said there uh which plank that was but they can go after uh the the schools in that way and then also go after gay people so it's the schools and the bigotry that work in tandem there um so naturally the that's 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 a big part of what the right wants to do here um you had i think it was vivek ramaswamy at the debate say that they should just defund or get rid of the entire department of education yeah to yeah say, to say that's that's like a yeah desantis believes that also, or is supportive of that as well i mean education it should just be for the privileged it should just be for uh for the people who already have money and their parents can send them somewhere and public education getting connected with other kids in your communities going to school with them understanding their experience having some sort of collective uh, education and, and sitting in a room with somebody that may have a different skin color or a different background or may have two moms or two dads yeah. that's the threat to america uh, america as we know it so this is an entirely made up concern and the people that have it should be treated with disgust and dismissiveness yeah um i mean and also if you don't want the the to celebrate coming out week or freaking you know the the lgbtq history month you know, you just don't have to acknowledge it, which is already what you do anyway. So I did not know it was those months. Yes. 